what's going on guys welcome to my channel my name is Curtis um, I realized while editing this video that I did not have a intro to this video so um, welcome to my channel today we're gonna be wrapping the truck I got this new camera this new Sony camera and I thought oh let me use the time-lapse mode it's got slow and quick mode but I record all I recorded all of the time lapses in slow motion which you know we're learning over here at the new camera it looks really nice, you guys can tell, but uh, yeah, let's get into this video. It's just me struggling, trying to wrap my truck. What I've realized while wrapping, it just takes some time and you need some good lighting. Um, I did this all in the garage with not very much lighting, which kind of pissed me off sometimes, but uh, we're trying to learn, you know, do it yourself, DIYer, you know, that's me. So the wrap, the whole point of the wrap is that I'm going black is because like, if I don't want to do some spots, the tricky spots, I don't have to, I can just leave them. So that's the overall plan of going black. But eventually, I do wanna learn how to wrap in different colors, maybe sand dune metallic, like uh, midnight purple, I don't know, maybe. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go black for now. It's a little bit easier. So yeah, let's get into this video. Uh, make sure to check out downtimeloss.com. Get your gear, your downtime loss jackets, shirts, hats. We got the hat right here, the downtime loss hat. So. Check out downtimeloss.com for some sick merch. Support your boy. I'd love to do this full time, but uh, we'll see. You know, it takes a long time. So check it out. Buy some merch. I appreciate you guys. And if you want any more off-roading content on the Z71, ZR2s, and everything, check me out. Watch my videos on the YouTube channel. You know, we have some cool off-roading videos. This is not an off-roading video, but uh, that's mostly what I like to do. Right now, the wrap is just kind of like a condom for the paint. Bought the truck, went su super hard wheeling it right off the bat, kind of destroyed the paint. It's kind of sad, it's 2023 and the paint is just, I mean, Matrix Auto Detailing did do a really, really good job at getting as much as he could out of there. Um, check him out, Matrix Auto Detailing. But I wanna prevent that in the future. So we're gonna wrap it black, it's like a condom, you know. It's not gonna look good, but it's an off-road vehicle and we're just we're just preserving the paint at this point. But we're gonna try our best to make it look good. I'm not really focused on making it look perfect considering probably next time I go out, I'm gonna scratch the shit out of it. So there's no point in, you know, taking my time and doing all that, so. Yeah, let's get into this video, enough rambling. Um, appreciate you guys watching. All right guys, enough rambling. Let's uh, get into this video of just watching me struggle, trying to wrap this thing. And uh, there's a couple of time lapses and stuff, but uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything down in the comment section, let me know. I always respond to everybody because I truly value my, my viewers. Um, you guys are awesome. Let's uh, get into today's video. All right, boys. Um, we failed last time, but we're gonna try small this time. We're going to wrap this little part of the door. And um, we'll see how it turns out. Got myself a fresh Coors Light and we'll see if I can get this good. Okay, we got this all squeegeed out. Got the knifeless tape up here. We're gonna try it out. And uh, it looks like this really scratched, but it has a protective film on there. So um, we can pull that off when we're ready to go. But uh, all right, boys, we got this on right here. Um, we got this one all cut. Um, I did fuck up and uh, I didn't make it long enough to be able to wrap it around the corner. I'll show you guys right here. Okay, so you see right here, the edge. I did not leave enough room to wrap around the corner. So in the Arizona heat, she is definitely going to uh, um, shrink a little bit. Um, but I am very proud of this cut right here. So I cut that line all the way around this trim right there. It looked like this before. So now I'm gonna go ahead and trim out right there. And then our little tester worked, but uh, you can tell the paint, OEM Chevy Black Midnight Black and uh, the Vivid Black looks pretty damn close. So I'm liking it. So we're gonna, finish up this little side and probably 
just work our way up. Um, doing the bed was a bad idea. That one's hard. Um, we're not there yet, but small things first, I guess. Okay, so we got this side on. Didn't quite cut this one as good. Right there, I fucked up, but back here, can't even tell. So we're gonna slowly just uh, work our way around and get better as we go. Uh, might pull it off and redo it eventually, but slowly but surely. All right, guys, it's day two, four, three. I don't know, but we're gonna try to wrap the bed again. I got a key gun, got the wrap all cut out. Um, and yeah, we're gonna try to attempt the bed again. Um, let's see how it goes. I'll put you on a little time lapse and watch me struggle. All right, boys, uh, we almost had it, but we used too much heat in one spot and we put a big old fucking hole right there. So we're gonna have to uh, redo it, I guess. That's a fucking bummer, dude. Damn. Right, guys i didn't give up never give up we're almost done we're in the last little bit pretty much got all this all good and now we are doing the corner which is a, a nightmare let me show you okay so we got all this good right here where the tail light goes is pretty much all good this is all good this is all good and up here and now we're just working with this wrinkly corner which is uh kind of pissing me off so taking a cookie break and then we're gonna try to finish this out it's kind of dark outside um yeah but we're almost there let's hope i don't fucking burn a hole in it again all right guys it's about uh 10 o'clock right now and uh we just got done wrapping the bed so uh looks like shit I'll show you guys in the morning so you can actually see, but I mean, it'll do for an off-road truck. Um, we pretty much, we got it all laid down nice and pretty smooth. There's a couple little fingers in here. I'll show you tomorrow. All right, guys, here is the results of last night's little project. Um, as you can tell, uh, I keep trying to push this down with the heat gun and get all the air bubbles out and it still won't stick. So I don't know what's going on here. I even put, poked little holes in there, heat gun did everything, just this big old bubble right here, this big old bubble right here, um, surprisingly, right here, surprisingly, like right here, I did pretty good around the tail light, um, I did drop it on the ground and got dirt behind it, so that's cool, but um, yeah, we messed up here too, we ran out, but you can't really tell from this angle. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave it and just try to work with it. I mean, oh well, right? We got all this corner all good too, right here. But, uh, well, I mean, it is an off road truck and we're probably gonna fucking scratch the shit out of it eventually. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And uh, once we get better, we'll probably just rewrap it. I did decide to uh, 
do one of the harder sections first off. So today we're gonna tackle the door. The door should be easier. I'm only worried about uh, the handle, but I think I'm going to just do like a cut right here. And then this will just be paint and then cut around the door handle. Um, I'm gonna start right here and do a little cut on this one. And then we'll bang this out in one piece and then we'll bang this out in another piece. So we're gonna try to do that. Uh, let's hope we don't fail again. So that one turned out good. Um, just this pillar right here. I actually did a pretty dang good job cutting right there with the knifeless tape and then kind of folded this edge over. Looks a lot better on the other side. I um, learned from last time and I wrapped it one at a time and rolled this edge over and uh, looks perfect. So I think my skills are getting better, but uh, we're gonna try the door and hopefully that, um, Turns out good, but I'm very impressed with this one. So I'm gonna go eat a steak, get some beers, and then swing over to the back door right here. All right, guys, good news. While I'm waiting for the pit boss to preheat for some steak dinners, um, I threw some more heat into this today and uh, Got those bubbles out. Um, same thing down here, right there. So I'm gonna go check the stakes and see how they're doing. And let's hope it doesn't pop back up again. Um, yeah, so that's a, that's a win right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 7.30 at night and uh, we've got some Heineken and steak in our belly. And we are going to try to bang out this door. So uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna attempt it, but I'm gonna try. So let's get to it. Okay, so we got the door all glassed over and uh, looks all good. So the only, th my problem, my only problem right now is gonna be this door handle because I'm not sure how to take it apart so I didn't take it apart um, we're gonna try to wrap around it and make it look as clean as possible but the door was so much easier than the fucking bed the bed was a nightmare this is a little bit easier but it might be a nightmare with the door handle so let's uh, try to figure that one out all right guys well we did the door doors done we got a couple little iffy spots. Um, we got a couple fingers under here, um, but I wrapped around the door handle and it looks really good actually. So that's cool. And then right here, it's a little interesting, but uh, we wrapped that pretty good. Um, and then up here, it's a little iffy. You can kind of tell, not really. And then I cut a little short 
right here, but uh, from two feet away, it looks really damn good. So we're gonna leave that. Uh, and then I think we're going to shift over to the passenger door tomorrow. So good night, everybody. Okay, so here's all the scrap that I fucked up on the bed and everything. Um, you come over to the door, that was what I did last night. Turned out really good, all the edges kind of wrapped really good. The only problem is right there is a little bit of a fingers. We wrapped around the door pretty dang good, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, the door, looks good come over to the bed we got all those bubbles out of the body lines right there this one was uh, one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life dropped it on the ground so we do have some shit under the wrap right there um, but uh, it'll do okay so uh, that's uh, part one of the wrap job um, this is just like a, it's a condom for the paint pretty much so um, this is a temporary thing. Um, once it gets scratched up and destroyed, then I'll pull it off and wrap it again. Part one is done. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, leave some comments in the comment section of any tips or tricks that I should do. The match is pretty close, so that's all that really matters. So yeah, again, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything about wrapping, throw it down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah love you guys for watching you guys are awesome i keep doing this for you guys so like comment subscribe i'll talk to you later see you bye